three years. That is how long one family has been waiting for answers in the case of their missing daughter. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake shows us how they spent the anniversary of her disappearance. All of these signs in the front of the house have been here for three years. The family says they're going to stay here until Desiree comes home. Every day, Patty Tam wonders if this will finally be the day her daughter comes home. I don't know mentally or physically if I could go through another year. Desiree Ferris went missing on May 2nd, three years ago. She'd be 21 years old by now. Um, whatever happened, a part of me left with her that day. I will never be the same. Desiree's room is still preserved, almost exactly the way she left it. And Patty won't change any of it. This is her way of holding on. I can't. I just can't. Desiree's family and supporters held a virtual vigil in her honor on Saturday. Normally, Desi's army would be together, but COVID-19 has restricted how much they can do. There are several people every weekend that are still out searching for her. But yeah, as far as big groups, we have not done any big, big searches. The family has sifted through horrifying tips and gone on search after search. Desiree's phone and social media activity went silent around 4 a.m. May 2nd, 2017. One of her last cell phone pings bounced off a tower near I-70 and Nolan Road shortly before that. That's what we're trying to stick to are the pings, the, you know, time frames, that kind of thing. So yeah. We have an area. Court records show Desiree was with two men before she went missing. The family is holding out hope that somebody does the right thing and speaks up, but they'll never stop searching. It's a kind of pain and heartbreak that I never even knew existed. Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. Thank you, Sarah. The family is urging anyone who knows where Desiree is to leave an anonymous tip. The Liberty Police Department is still investigating. They haven't named any suspects, but they do say people who have information about her whereabouts have invoked their right to remain silent.